This is a data sufficiency question of GMAT. First pause the video and try it on your own. We need the median of the set ABCD. So we'll arrange them in increasing order and the median will be the average of the middle two numbers, whatever they are. Look at statement 1. The average of A and B is 110. We do not know anything about C and D, so that is why this statement alone cannot be sufficient. Look at an example in case you are not sure. Let's say both A and B lie at 110. If C is over here and D is over here, in that case median is here. But if C is over here and D is over here, in that case median is here. So statement 1 alone doesn't give us the median. Look at statement 2. The average of C and D is 110. Now instead of A and B, we have C and D over here and we do not know where A and B are. So certainly this statement alone will also not be sufficient. Consider both the statements together now. The average of A and B is 110. So let's say A and B could be both at 110 or they will move in tandem. So in case A goes 10 less than 110, that is at 100, B will go 10 more than 110, that is at 120. So deficit will always be equal to the excess because average of A and B is 110. So if A goes further to the left, B will go further to the right, etc. Now, C and D, the average is also 110. So now one case is that C and D both are at 110 as well. In that case, the median will simply be 110, the average of C and D. Now if C moves a little to the left, D will move a little to the right. Again, C and D will move in tandem. The deficit will be equal to the excess because their average is also 110. In this case, the median will simply be average of C and D, which is again 110. If C moves further to the left, then D will move further to the right. Then again, the median will simply be average of C and D, which is 110 only. What happens if C moves to the left of A, that is over here? In that case, D will move to the right of B, that, that, that is over here. Again, because deficit has to be equal to excess. In this case, if A is over here and B is over here, then the median will simply become the average of A and B, which we know is again 110 only. So it doesn't matter where A, B, C and D actually lie. The median will always be 110 because it will always be the average of either A and B or the average of C and D. So answer over here is C, that is both statements together are sufficient to get the median.